On behalf of the people of Kenya, I want to thank Your Excellency and the people of France for their continued demonstration of confidence in our country through your continued investments in Kenya. Your Excellency, my administration has prioritized the transformation of our transportation infrastructure in our country, our aim being to ensure that Kenya is seamlessly interconnected through an efficient network of modern roads, railways, ports, airports, as well as waterways to support a growing and competitive economy. We have already invested significant resources in the construction of our standard gauge railway that runs between Mombasa, Nairobi, into the western part of our country. The first phase between Mombasa and Nairobi being already completed. And as we do so, we are also seeking to develop the commuter rail infrastructure and other public transport corridors that provide efficient, secure, and accessible means of transport. We are now in the process of revamping the computer rail network, developing a bus rapid transport system that we hope will lead to lower traffic fatalities, reduce pollution and congestion, and as well as an overall reduction in the cost of public transport and a happier citizenry. As I was mentioning to you before, Mr. President, Nairobi is a city whose daytime population is now approximating 7 million people. So with residents of about 4 million, that is 3 million people moving in and out of the city every day. So it is necessary for us to make this investment. Furthermore, the modernization of our public transport will also open up new areas of development, allowing families to acquire affordable and decent homes in areas that were previously inaccessible. As part of this commuter railway, we as a government have already invested some 10 billion Kenya shillings for the rehabilitation of four existing lines that have the heaviest passenger carrying potential. Nairobi Central, we've just gone through them and you've seen them. And the investment so far has also provided for the acquisition of refurbished diesel multiple units and the rehabilitation of the meter gauge railway network, as well as the development of new stations along the corridor and building a public uh, transport network that straddles from Roiro to Arthi River. Indeed, today we welcome the deliberations with the French consortium to construct a computer rail line running from Nairobi Central Station, which is where we are, through Eastlands to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. An implementation study is ongoing, though uh, taking too long, and we have agreed what's going to happen with that. And we have agreed that this line will be delivered through a public-private partnership, and this will support our administration's focus on decongesting the city. A properly functioning urban commuter rail system, bus rapid transport system in our cities, and particularly here in Nairobi, will help completely transform the lives of millions of urban dwellers, as well as make Nairobi a better and more wonderful experience, both for our tourists and visitors. Our target is to have 500,000 urban commuters moving freely daily within the next 12 months, and the number will grow to over a million daily commuters within the next five years. These targets that these targets that we have set for ourselves will not only change the urban experience of Nairobians, but will also help us meet our commitments to the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, as well as help control pollution and pollution-related diseases in our city.